Today I'm going to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X. This is, was of course the Xbox exclusive version of Tony Hawk 2 that also included Tony Hawk 1 stuff. I'm playing it on an Xbox 360. Um, and I have, I have the music volume turned down to 1. So hopefully it doesn't get content ID'd. <laughs> but this game... It's kind of hard to play it without any music, honestly, because it just that's such a, a vital part of of the Tony Hawk experience, honestly. Let's do some Tony Hawk 1 levels and some Tony Hawk 2 and I'll tell stories and you'll tell me how dumb I am. But I have stories to tell about Tony Hawk. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is why I bought a PlayStation 1 or why I ever wanted a PS1 back in the day and it's like yeah they released Tony Hawk on the N64 and all that but it's like it was kind of a crappy version not just because the see I go so high I hit the roof but the controls were really awkward in on the N64 version of this Ew, that was ugly so uh, one year for Christmas, I got a, a PS1. It was actually 2000 when the PS2 came out. <laughs> it's when I actually got a PS1. Or was it 99? I think it was 2000. So Andrew was all playing his PS2 and he's all like, I'm so cool, I have a PS2. And I was all like, I have a PS1 and I'm super happy with it. Oh yeah, I forgot that I could manual. <laughs> but so, yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and, to and THPS 2 are why I got a, a PS1. And I would say they were totally worth it. Because these games are freaking great. And the N64 ports were bad. But that's how I first played it. I remember one time, I think Andrew rented Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 on the N64. And I went over to his house and we were playing it. And it was fun. I liked it. But it was just like, the, the PlayStation version was better. That's a funny story about the PlayStation version though, is that year that I got a PS one for Christmas. I didn't actually get it for Christmas. It was supposed to be here for Christmas, but my mom ordered it from freaking Finger Hut. You know, they sell you stuff and let you make payments, but they charge you huge interest. But she ordered it from Finger Hut and they didn't deliver it in time for Christmas. So it was the middle of January before it actually showed up. So I actually played Tony Hawk 1 and 2 on a PlayStation emulator on the play on the PC. <laughs> I think that was back when Bleem was still a thing. So I played on the PC and I could actually save my stuff. But then when the PS1 showed up, I didn't have a memory card so I could save. Oh man, that was funny. But... Uh, so I fell in love with Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It was great. When Tony Hawk 3 came out in 2001 is when I was in college. I didn't have a PS2 at that time, but my roommate did. And it was okay with him, so I actually bought a copy of... Ugh, I bought a copy of Tony Hawk 3 and played it on my roommate's PS3, PS2. But the funny thing is that before Tony Hawk 3 came out, he played my copy of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 all night, literally all night one night. And he only ever got to the school. He only ever got to the second level. <laughs> and he played it all night long. <laughs> Which is weird because it's not like he wasn't a good gamer or anything. But he struggled, but he just kept at it and kept playing it. Oh, that was a terrible run. But I went to bed 
and he was playing the freaking hanger and I got up at I don't know seven in the morning to go to class and he was still playing it but he was only on the school <laughs> although I think he actually did unlock the third level France uh, he just didn't want to play it yet because he's like oh I haven't finished the other stuff yet <laughs> And I laughed and laughed at him. And then I think I was all like, let me have the controller. And I like, unlocked everything for him in just like <laughs> one run each. Because that's the thing about Tony Hawk, the old Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Is I think that the two minute timer and the small levels is so much better than what Tony Hawk tried to become because they wanted it to be open world and sandbox and oh you can do all this stuff but but I don't think it ever worked as well as the two minute timer did my buttons are really loud huh Man, I got to bust out a good score in this one. Because Tony Hawk Pro Skater, it never needed all that extra fluff. They tried to make it realistic and they tried to make the levels be huge. And they got rid of the timer and it just like, it was never as good. The level design got way worse. The gameplay got way less interesting. It just, it, it peaked at about Tony Hawk 3. Because <laughs> Tony Hawk 4... No, it didn't have a two minute timer. It had missions that you had to go find in the world. That's right. Oh, am I going to win? Oh, I did. Ha 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 ha. Everybody sucks but Tony. I used to love the skate videos. That was always so fun. I would beat these games with every character and get all of the unlockables and watch all of the videos. Man, I freaking loved Tony Hawk. <laughs> But, I mean, I've been wanting to do a Tony Hawk game, and I was all like... I actually forgot that it was backward compatible on the Xbox 360. Because I was all like, oh, I'll have to get out the old Xbox, and I hate the old Xbox. <laughs> well, actually, my, my recording setup doesn't like my old Xbox. I don't know why. I don't actually really like using the Xbox 360 anymore. Like everything you do on an Xbox 360 is such a pain in the butt compared to doing the same thing on an Xbox One. But I was like, oh man, how am I gonna play a Tony Hawk game? Should I play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5? No, it freaking sucks. <laughs> oh, you can't do a wall plant on this game. But, uh, I think this is the only Tony Hawk I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bother with three, even though I also have it and four. And they're all backward compatible on the Xbox 360. Is it boring to watch me just do the same moves over and over? Because this is how I always played it. <laughs> he was spazzing out. He 
can do 900s just like all day. He's Tony Hawk. That's what he does. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to win. I won! <laughs> but yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Gran Turismo and Metal Gear Solid are basically what broke me from being a Nintendo fanboy. So good job, all those games. This was Eric vs. 365, where I'm playing a different game every day for a year. Be sure to check out psxboxindies.com for daily blogs about the games we're playing and the videos we're making. Thanks for watching!